spade on the outside that's purple. There's the patch of it right across the stream. The spade is purple and yellow. And then the leaves are coming up on the outside. So the flower emerges in February before the leaves emerge, which they am will come up in the summer. And they're the thing that has the really foul smell. That's how it got its name, skunk cabbage. So let's get over there and get a good look at it and see how beautiful the flowers are. And it's in the Arum family. And it's got this outer coat called the spathe, spathe. And inside is the actual flower, the spadex. And it's got little tiny white flowers all over it on a ball. And the flowers are actually what makes the heat. And this flower um, can make enough heat that it's actually over 30 degrees warmer than the air temperature. So it can push right up through snow and ice, which is really a neat thing. And then it comes up and the early emergent insects that walk along the ground like flies and beetles that are attracted to the foul smell of the leaves will come to that and move around the pollen on the, on the flowers to pollinate it. Oh yeah, it's definitely stinky. It's, it's such a cool plant. There's a picture of it in the ODNR booklet, Spring Wildflowers of Ohio, which can be downloaded right on the ODNR uh, website. If you'd like to see skunk cabbage for yourself, come to the Shawnee Forest and visit Bear Lake. Just at the end of the lake where the stream feeds the lake, you'll be able to find a couple of beautiful patches of skunk cabbage that should be in good blooming condition for the next few weeks.